Okay, so uh, now that you have uh, worked onto your photos and you have all things done, you get all the correction that you needed, you did all the, the, the stuff that you needed to do to every photo. Uh, if now you need to take those and send them to your uh, data D drive or data L drive. So you need to export them because these photos, whatever you did to them, as I said, as I mentioned for the Lightroom, it stays intact. It doesn't destroy anything. Okay. So now what you need to do is just that you can go to your library. Let's say that you have all your four photos, and you want to select them all. So hold on to Shift and click onto the first one. Let's say and look like this. Click on the first one. Hold on to Shift, select them all, or you can just like just say Control A, Command A to control and do them all. So you need to export all those photos. You can right click on it and you can say export. You can export media. You can export for email. We don't want to do that because it doesn't give you sometimes it does give you a good picture, sometimes not, but you want to just click on to the export over here. So that's the one that you want to do to to the right click. That's the way that I use it. You can also find the same thing if you go to under file and just say export. So in this case again you have to think about it is just that you want to export to your hard drive. Yes, that's what you want to do. You want to go and send it to your data L, L drive or data D drive, depending on which lab you're, you're working from. So I'll say to the desktop, no, I don't want to do that. I want to export to location, choose a folder, a uh, specific folder. There we go. So click on this one, go to choose, and I want to go to my data D drive. In my case, when I'm doing a testing, and just okay, there we go, Adobe uh, Lightroom. So I'll press on to OK. So that's the way that I want to see it. File naming, you can actually just change the file naming if you want to. Uh, usually I don't do that, or like in this case, because I'm going to do some edits, um, I can pl just place it in just say red edit. You want to make sure that the format is actually JPEG. So, okay, so PSD is that's a Photoshop one, TIFF is a really high uh, information one, uh, DNG, I'll talk about that in the classroom, but it's a digital negative that we can call it. Yes, you keep it as sRGB. Uh, you can make the quality at 100%. Okay, so do you want to keep same quality? Uh, if you want to change the image size, uh, if you recall that when you go into uh, take your photos, put it onto Google Drive presentation, uh, you have to be careful on how big it's going to be. So in my case, I don't have to worry about that because those photos are from uh, just the internet. So that's one that you do the same thing as the Photoshop one that we did before to resize it to fit. Okay, so if you're not sure, it's usually like uh, the width if you did the uh, landscape format, it's 1900 pixel. Okay, that's what it's going to be maximum. Metadata, we'll talk about that later on. And also, like if you're taking your own photo, you can actually make a watermark. Uh, in our case, not necessarily. Okay, so uh, over here after export, you can actually just say, "Well, do nothing, show and explore." If you want to see them, you can do other stuff, but I usually don't do that. So you can press on export, and you'll see an information bar over here that tells you all about <coughs> when it's then task is completed. So if you go to your data D drive, I'll go to my data D drive. In my case, do you guys have data L drive on the Terio, and I'm, I'm going to take that as a list. And I want to say, I think it's, believe it's tutorials. Yes, Lightroom. Yeah, there are my four photos that I have originally. Okay. And then if I go into here, whoops, I got to. Okay, so it's just that I had to refresh my monitor or my window. So go to, it was under tutorials, Lightroom. And then, whoops, let me see. Where did it go? Oh. Okay, finally, got it. So there we go. Untitled export. In my case, I put it onto a different folder. And here are my four photos that I just edited. And these are the photos that you want to upload to your Google Drive and put it onto your before and after. And then if you go back to, let's say, if I go back to my data D drive, just to show you that I didn't do anything to my pictures, is that they are here. Here are my original pictures that I have still onto my data D drive, and that's where my catalog is using them. So that's that's what it is for the export.